Oh, another update on my uh, project to create uh, calibrated volume 96 well tighter plates. Um, I've gotten pretty close to uh, 3D print. Here I just got some new plastic in. I've got pretty close to a 3D print that will hold water. Um, about half the wells are now holding the water. You can see it kind of shimmering there. Um, but uh, still not quite all of the way there yet. So I put out a challenge on the Ultimaker mailing list uh, for if anyone can figure out how to get these tighter plates to be watertight, I will give you a rather nice bottle of wine. Uh, white wine, red wine, or champagne, I've got all of the above. Um, so a fellow named Florian Hirsch in Germany uh, decided to give it a try and used the uh, commercial NetFab CAD CAM software to generate a toolpath for this machine and to get it to run at full speed I upgraded the firmware of uh, our Ultimaker printer here to the um, beta uh, firmware which is called Sprinter as you can see why. Um, I think this is uh, the fastest uh, the Ultimaker is the fastest um, hobbyist style 3D extrusion printer um, and the Sprinter firmware really shows that off. Um, but uh, looks like this toolpath is a little bit strange, so I'm not sure it's going to be waterproof. But uh, um, big thanks to Florian for giving this a giving this a try. I've uh, learned a lot by just watching how this is working, which is really cool. Anyway, that's the update for today.